live streaming whip around. That's how you start a show. <laughs> Is it? NCAA tournament coming up. We are in March. Yes. And sure. Turner announcing that they will now have a live stream whip around coverage. And it's always pretty good when you can tell the media critic, Tom Holfarth, about the news that's going on in the media. Well, I had a problem this morning. What happened, Tom? I, I lost my phone. How'd you survive? I didn't. It was very <laughs> it was yeah. very hard. It was like losing a kid in a in a grocery store. And but you were more concerned about the that. kid though. Well no, it was both. It was like both it was both an experience of panic and what am I gonna do if I can't find him? My wife's gonna kill me. Right. Steve, you ever lose your kid or slash phone? Uh both and I once lost my kid in a rocket ship uh <laughs> at a park <laughs> in Manhattan park. Beach and I was park. running around so much. One lady just said, you need to calm down. And she was like a grandma. And then my kid just came walking up to me like, you know, hey. Did the kid know he was lost? No. No, of course not. not. Know they were lost. Because exactly. they were trying to leave from you. Beth Duran, Tom Holfarth, Steve Lowry, and a I cast of thousands. I have an ethical. So Can I do the intro? Oh, you just did, didn't no. you? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. Beth Duran, Tom Holfarth, <laughs> Steve Lowry. Still. Still looking for a name of the show. We're going to get through everything that happened in Los Angeles over the weekend, preview what's coming up. During the week, where these two characters, and I believe me, if you would hear what they said off the air, you're realizing that sports writers can never be succinct. Don't ever get involved in the email chain with sports writers. <laughs> my goodness. How was your oatmeal this morning? It's his. Exactly. Oh, is it my turn? That's exactly. <laughs> we had an email about the oatmeal that Tom Holfarth had, and Steve had a manly All right, listen, it's embarrassing. I a, a short story long. Oh, here okay. we go. All right, Steve and I go out for breakfast this morning. I'm half asleep. I leave my phone at the restaurant. We're talking about Uncle Bill's in Manhattan Beach. Right. If you want to know where that is. Where if you want to terrific plug us. You know. Where yeah, Uncle Bill's, where you go on Sunday mornings and sit and wait. Yes, yes Monday sure. mornings is no issue. So I go home. I watch Icarus, which is a movie we want to talk about later. And if then I'm like about it. to come here, and I go, where's my phone? And I can't find it. I can't find it. My only thought is I must have left it at the restaurant. So I call the restaurant. Yes, they have the phone. I have to go all the way and get it. So I want to thank this waitress who saved my phone for me. It could have right. easily got picked up, taken Was somewhere. it the waitress with the kids? It was the same one. Mm -hmm. okay. So the same waitress is still there, and she comes, gets the phone, brings it to me, and I go, I want to give you something. And she sees me get my wallet out, and she goes, no, 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 no. And she runs away. Mm. And I thought, that's kind of a mixed message. I, I, it's probably good karma on her part that she did a good deed and she didn't want to be rewarded. But I felt like she should have been rewarded. So wh what's what's the solution? What's well, you already left a tip earlier, right? Yes. Well, he did. Yeah, See, did. that was my I other thought. For his my other okay. thought was he probably did not leave a good tip, so I really want to repay her it now. It was oatmeal uh, And also, proper. it's kind of hard for somebody to resell a flip phone on the black market. I have, have no idea how that yeah. works. Uh, what, you how don't have an iPhone. Yeah, I do have that. No, look at you getting into the modern flip technology. Phone. <laughs> exactly. I missed that one. I went straight over my head. Exactly. Right. But uh, look at this. You guys are so paranoid. Because mind you, I'm doing the show as I'm holding my phone because I don't want to miss anything because it's a modern show. It's 2018. That's right. what I heard. You guys used to like call in sports scores yes. on rotary phones, right? Yes. Oh, no, we had to run to a place that had a phone. Call to do a high school game, right? Oh, yeah. Things Dic called and dictate phones. It. Dictate it, was, it yeah. into this. Yeah. Are you serious? That really happened. That really happened. Oh, yeah. And that's our moment with the old people here yeah. on the show. <laughs> Beth and Duran. Then we Tom Holfarth. Then we had fax the story in. Sometimes. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, fax. <laughs> Don't confuse people. <laughs> They're watching this on the internet. They have no idea what this Even is. Even better. Do you remember in the old days, Radio Shack made the first kind of laptops? And you would have to send the story by putting the phone in an couplers. acoustic coupler. Couplers. Well, if you're covering, like, I don't know, a playoff series at Angel wow. Stadium. And you're just about to send in. The crowd goes crazy. Your story just goes, yeah, and it just it, dies. The yeah. noise affected the couplers. You, yes. Okay. The people watching right now yeah. are probably in, you know, modern technology. They're in advocates. the present. Like my they grandparents. They know what's going on. Yeah. They have no idea what you're talking about. So when we go back in, no. <laughs> when, we, when you start going into story time, we need sound effects to uh, let people know wah, this is what's wah. going on. My man from Youngstown, do you know what he's talking about? Not only the people watching or listening – don't know what you're talking about. The people making the show don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> Eric from Irvine. Eric, was that bad? <laughs> we should move on. Maybe that's why Radio Shack's out of business. That's Eric from Irvine. Okay. Yes, John okay. from Youngstown, Ohio. Or is it Joe today? Who are you? It's John. John yeah. or Joe? Yes. Joe, John, 
Joe Johnson. Johnny Joe. Oh, Johnny gosh. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So oh, in L.A., Brother one of the uncle. big things, and it's called Hollywood, because everybody who's not from L.A. thinks that hey, all we care about is Hollywood and the movies and everything else. I've been to the Grauman's Chinese mm-hmm. Theater once. Cause they I don't call it the Chinese Theater anymore. What's it called? Well, I, on the show last night, they call it, what, the TL, TCL or something? They abbreviate it now where they don't use the word Chinese Theater. I don't know why. I didn't even know, because <gasps> I've been there once, because I took family there to go look at the little stars walking right. around. Um, I've never been back. Did you guys watch the Oscars? Yes. Yes. I right. bet the Oscars. Joe, did you watch the Oscars? I did not. Eric? It's John. Now, John, <laughs> did you watch the Oscars? I did not. See, Joe and John, neither <laughs> of them watched the Oscars. <laughs> so we got five people in here didn't watch it. Man. See, but who watches the Oscars? Whole far, you're the media critic. Who watches this? Uh, older people, and it's, a, it's most like what, of the world. most of us who are used to watching a Super Bowl also watch the Oscars. They're yes. Compared fabri- they compare I favorably. They had yeah. no care about yeah. this. But yeah. the reason I'm bringing this up is Kobe Bryant yes, won an Oscar. Tom, for what? Short animated film, which was basically commercial that looked like a movie but didn't. Wait, come <laughs> why, why are you shaking your head? I don't know. I, 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 come on, Steve. So I saw it. No, I, no, he's right. I it's, should have seen it, but I, I You didn't watch it. I no. Why would I watch a short animated film unless It's very short. I, maybe two and a half minutes, three minutes. It's really, really looks short. Looks like a Nike commercial, right? Yeah, it's this long kind of it's called Goodbye to Basketball and Kobe. No, it's I, called Deer Basketball. Deer Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I made an impact. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so it's called My Fair Lady. And um <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he's talking about basically how he's going to miss basketball and all this kind right. of stuff. And I saw it. It's like three minutes long, and you're watching. Oh, that's you know that's nice. But it, it certainly is something Nike might have produced at the end of his career, and then the swoosh would come up at the end. They say, right. thank yeah. you thank very you, Kobe, much. Thank you, Kobe, for yeah. your, yeah. And well, it's the same thing he wrote to the fans, right? Yes. That they gave they, out at the Center. Yeah, yeah, they the just letter. took okay. that and put they it in They had him image. dictate the letter to animated are you serious? That's yeah. what it was? That's what it was. And that won you an Oscar? Yeah. Well, here's, so here's the deal. So here's where I think this has actual benefits for the Lakers. All right? We all know now that the Lakers have been going out trying to get big-name free agents. And so far, the past few years, very unsuccessful. Because okay. in years past, you, if you wanted to be a big star, the w- word was you've got to go to New York, Chicago, and L.A. Right? But then LeBron comes along, KD comes along, Russell Westbrook comes along and prove, no, 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 you don't have to go to the big cities anymore. You can go, you can be in a relatively small market and still become a massive star. In the NBA. In the NBA. But yesterday, Kobe wins the Oscar. And when it is announced, the person announcing it is Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, who doesn't say Kobe Bryant. He says, Kobe! And the crowd went nuts. Yeah. That is the one thing L.A. still has. If you want to be a player in big-time show business, I'm talking movies and big-time TV, you have still got to come to L.A. Which is why they recruit guys like Durant, who have a media – they have their own media company, 35 right. Media. Uh, LeBron James has his own media company, made, has made some shows that are on right now, right. has a house in Brentwood. This is, this is their plan. This is their game plan to include L.A. in their – End of their time playing and continued success. You, you come to L.A. Now you come to the Lakers. You've got Magic Johnson there who sets up the first blueprint of the successful former athlete, uh, business owner, yeah. sports owner. Starbucks, you have the Fridays. Right. Had so all here's Magic stuff, here. Right. Now here's Kobe becoming right. the media mogul. Right. Well, he has Kobe Inc. is the company that produced sure. it on Orange County. Okay. Dwayne Wade says this tweet. He has set a bar for success when you get done right. playing. Wade has his, Wade has a production company. Yes, when does. all these guys Married were out actress. for the NBA All Star Game, this this couple weekends ago, all of these guys were busy promoting, like going to a premiere of their something, their thing we're doing. It, th- they are so tied up to LA. They would love to have the uh, the NBA All Star Game in LA every year, just so they can promote yes. themselves and their and their company. Well, speaking of actors, Shaquille O'Neal, you know from Kazam fame. Kazam, oh, oh yeah. What, what, what you get mad no, I he must feel so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want so Kazam? horrible. Childhood favorite. Childhood yeah. favorite. Right. Of course it is. What about Space Jam? I, I, I was worried Kobe was going to get now up Space there. Now, Space Jam should have won awards. I thought That's sh- some acting right I was there. worried Kobe was going to get up there and Shaq, how's my, you know, and, Oscar? And, 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 how's my Oscar smell? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Here's a tweet from oh, Shaq. That would have been sweet. Congrats to Kobe, <laughs> first Oscar. <laughs> That's big bro. Wait, here, wait, let me read this again for Shaq. Congrats to Kobe, first Oscar. That's big bro. Proud of you. Big honor for you and your family. I'm jealous. Okay. Now, See? speaking of jealousy. The big jealous. This the big heard, jealous. How about this? <laughs> so Kobe always patterned his game, his life after 
Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan's got six championships. Kobe's got five. Plus. But he has an Oscar. If you had to choose, what's the life you want? Do you want six championships or five and an Oscar? I didn't even watch the Oscars. You think I care about yeah, having okay. an Oscar? Yeah, okay. Jordan Kobe has cares. a team. He owns a team. He has a brand, a Jordan brand, right. with Nike. Where you, you're going to choose what, Kobe? I, I would take Kobe's. Why? Because he's going to get into this new area, and he's going to he's already dominating it. Producer John has a... Yes. Oh, no, I was just going to say I, I, I still think championships over an Oscar and... It's two different team. things. And he has a basketball brand that sponsors football teams. Uh -huh. Like He sponsors players. He does everything else. Eric, you, do you, you want an Oscar? No, I, Eric's fine. Yes. Really? And did, what it says about his company. Did you watch the Oscars last company. night? I did not. But <laughs> I definitely think uh, the senior basketball of uh, Clark Gregg is better than Clippers. Oh. That would, be, that would be another Oscar-nominated movie. That's soon. the next movie he's coming out with? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> he did mention that, though. All right. Yes. I feel bad for the, the, the poor guys who, like, worked all their life on their an animated short about the little girl who finds the puppy who then yeah. gets lost in the supermarket or whatever, and they're like, oh, we got nominated. Oh, <laughs> Kobe. But the people that are... The other people nominated in the, the category. category. Okay. The minute they saw Kobe, <laughs> okay. they're like, oh. Uh, we're screwed. <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> right. Okay, was it a popularity contest? Of yes. It is. Okay. I'm telling you, that I saw it. It's, it's nice, but I'm guessing the yeah. other ones... Eh, the right, other ones probably had people going in their whole lives. But the crowd went yeah. nuts because they wanted this to see This is their COVID. livelihood. Who votes for the Oscars? Academy members? Yes. Yeah, yep. so you yeah. have to be there. How many of them are L.A. based? The majority. Yeah. The How majority. Many gone to That's what games. I'm saying. I'm not kidding about this. So if I'm LeBron, if I'm KD, someone who's thinking about building, I see that and say, I want to be in business with those people. It's hard to be in business with those people when I'm in Detroit. So now the new thing is, all right, I got to win championships and Oscars? Yep. If that's oh, what you want to do. Yep, 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 yep. No, I think that's right. I Oscars think are not... Um, re they don't reward you with money. They just reward you with fame. Well, you know this, Beto. This is just yet another example of the NBA being by far the most progressive league yes, it is. in the United States and maybe the world. Well, you, you look at Kevin Durant. He, the reason, One of the big reasons why he went to Golden State is he's so close to Silicon Valley because he has so many tech right. interests that he has. Right. You would not see baseball guys doing this. This is not a baseball move. They no. Try. They Football try, guys no, they don't, don't do this. No. no. Basketball guys do this. Why is that? <sighs> well... I think it's they have a smarter representation to start with. I think they have better guys who plan out their careers for them. Well, baseball guys are like, when season's over, let me disappear. A lot of these guys are from the South. Let me go back to my farm. Let me go back to the country. Well, you know. Also, well, these guys players. Have I think NBA players have stories to tell yes. based, on, based on how they've grown up, okay. experiences they have, um, things they've overcome, and they want to tell it. And each might sound like it's the same story, but it's not. They really all have different Things they want to get out there, like um, well, like you go back to hoop dreams. Yes, right. There's a story of five kids from the inner city of Chicago. You follow them along. None of them would get to the NBA, mm. but they have right. But their storytelling. That's always. But the that's what Dwayne Wade's media company right now has got a story. I think it's called a C Town. I think it's what it's called, and it's about growing up in Chicago playing basketball. It's like, yeah, I thought we already did that, but no, there's a whole new audience. It's for a it. cultural thing, yeah. though. You guys both know you've covered baseball. Baseball players, and this is, a, of course, a scene, a very famous scene in Bull Durham, on purpose, they don't want anything to do with the media. It, yeah. it is unbecoming to baseball players to chase Let's practice your publicity. cliches. Exactly. Keep the, keep the media away. I just want to help my team, yeah. Lord willing. The bas basketball is an urban sport. Uh, guys appreciate the media. It, 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 I mean, as, as recently as 1980, the NBA, their championship was still on tape delay. They understand. <laughs> the importance of the media now mm -hmm. they want to be part of it. I think it's a cultural thing. Football, I don't think it can ever happen because people only stick well, around for three plus years. Plus, you with football, you don't even know what they look like. Exactly. Right. Right. Basketball they is only a most. Brady and yeah. uh, Aaron Rodgers. That's about it. A reminder: as recently as 1980 is 38 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty recent. <laughs> <to be laughs> <on> recent. <tape laughs> delay. That's when he changed his socks yeah. last. Wait, yeah, do you remember the major. NBA on NBC? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Barely, right? No, no, no. I, it's like the, the theme song is legendary. The theme song. That's yeah. what you were watching when Jordan me. hit over Craig Eagle, right? I was, what year was that? 93? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. in the 90s. I was five. Okay. Yeah. So it stuck with you? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the we later go, championship. We won't even go when the NBA was on CBS with Musburger and those uh, guys. I remember that. And Pat O'Brien. Oh. Pat right. O'Brien. Oh. Pat O'Brien, we used to do... Uh, the pregame show way up and high in the rafters. Yes. Now right. it's like these fancy yep. elaborate sets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The guy from Access Hollywood. 
In case you wonder. <laughs> the guy. Or extra. I don't know what show that was. Or whatever he's making. Uh, extra, extra. Moving from yeah. the Oscars and Hollywood, everything. Yeah. Else. It was a big sports weekend also, too. Right. Lakers are rolling right now. Yes. Lonzo Ball playing good basketball. Yes. This is the Lonzo Ball that everybody thought we were going to get. Mm-hmm. Does he sustain this? Thing? Yes. Yes, he does. Why? Because <laughs> he's 19 years old. He's young. Please go back and look at Steve Nash's stats his first year or two. Go back and look at Jason Kidd. The point guard is the quarterback. It's easy to be a, it's easy to be a shooting guard, to be Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma's great, but basically they just say, here's the ball, shoot it. The point guard's got to make all kinds of decisions. Magic Johnson's are, are absolutely the exception. This is normal. This is how people come into Were the league. Were you there when Magic came into the league? Yes. Both of you. It was immediate. Mm-hmm. But he's a once in a he lifetime six player. He was 6'9". Yes. And he had two years in college. He was a, yes. like a big Labrador. He just jumped around to whatever needed to be done. He right. Just, he rewrote the whole Look, s- the script. Look, I, I still believe basketball. he is the greatest basketball player of all time. I, I And I'm no disrespect to Jordan, but he is the greatest of all time. Or will. To, to compare Lonzo to him is ridiculous. We're not doing that here. Who's comparing No, no, him? people do, though. You know they oh, do. Oh, yeah. Well, they that's see him as part of the legacy. Because Magic said he's going to be the greatest. Yeah, Magic, Magic, Magic put, put the himself. pressure on him. Yep. Yeah. Magic still said, hey, this is and that. Yeah. Tom, go with the media for you. Lonzo Ball this past weekend, uh, they inter- aired an interview that he did on Univision. When the Lakers were in Miami, he on the day off, he went down to the studios in Univision, did an interview with him. The dude speaks no Spanish. Right. Understands a little bit, but not really. Poquito. Poquito. But that how a Making player the effort. like that? No, no, no. Yeah. Univision asked for him. Yeah. They said, "All oh, Lakers have an extra day here. How do we get Lonzo Ball here?" Right. That's what they wanted. They didn't want anything with the Lakers related. Mm. Now, as a man who who covers the media, and knows everything about this, and you guys have been around when players come through and they have different perspectives and they blow up. I don't remember a guy like this where somebody it's a foreign network asking for somebody to come get get there. What did he It was in English. They they did oh, the subtitles. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't he be anything speak Spanish. It shouldn't be anything different from when an English broadcaster interviews a, a person in Spanish and puts subtitles yeah. either. But but the fact that he did that shows a lot of awareness of the brand and and the possibilities of a whole nother market. Um, but they asked for him. That's right. Well, because he's the star, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just another reflection that they know who the stars are. Because that goes back to what we talked about the Oscars. Yes. The Laker brand, LA, yes. is still strong, right? Yes. But here I want to – I've noticed I didn't say the team is good. I'm saying the brand is okay, strong. So, okay. So we've been watching the Lakers for years. And LA fans get this rap. They'll say, you're just interested in stars. That's all you guys care about. Completely wrong. When there oh, was Sandy Koufax. I only, I only care about stars. Yeah, right? I mean, when there was I, I Sandy wasn't Koufax on back in the 60s, the great Sandy Koufax, there was Junior Gilliam. When there was Magic Johnson, there was Kurt Rambis. When there was Kobe, there was Derek Fisher. Los Angelinos appreciate a hard-working player. One thing I found interesting when I've been talking to Laker fans over this year, more and more they're saying, I don't think we want LeBron. If LeBron comes here, he's going into retirement mode. He's here to start the next phase of his life. They like this team. And here's an experience Laker fans have had not but had. But you just made this whole argument why LeBron should come to LA. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It would be attractive to him. Oh, I'm okay. not saying the oh, Lakers. Laker fans. I'm not, saying the, okay. I'm not saying the Lakers should break everything down now. I think more and more people want to have an experience you've never had as a Laker fan. Watching a team slowly come together, a la Golden State, yeah. and bring together. And I think a lot of people see the bones of this team and think, you know what? I know usually a Laker fan says every year should be a championship. I think a lot of people now are saying, no, I'll wait three, four, five years for this. Uh, I think so, Beto. Uh, Eric, hard, you're young. To wait. Eric, you, you, you've been waiting five years. Yeah. It's hard uh, Cleveland, you've waited your entire it's life for sell. something. I, everything from my what I've seen as an outsider yeah. looking in at Laker fans, um, I hear a lot of they want LeBron. Mm. Uh, I hear because especially directed at me as a Cavs fan, I get right. a lot of, oh uh, well, you only he, he's going to be here next year. Right. So, um, yeah, I think I think Laker fans want to win now more than anything. Right. I the ones I talk to are happy with the direction. They like oh, wait, the way wait, the team the, looks. They like the direction. Yes. It, it, that they finally have a direction. Right. right. You see something. But you're really gonna say, I'd rather have my young core guys that are unproven 
or a dude that's LeBron. But they're proving now. They're they're, they're, they're proving of, that yeah. they can maybe become an eight seed. Right. That's, yeah. Now that's, that's not a goal. Now <laughs> I'm tired of <laughs> talking about the But remember, the, the LeBron you're getting is not the LeBron. But it's the LeBron of, that's also going to bring others. Maybe, or it's the LeBron no, who's, who's half of his brain is outside the arena. Keep in mind, he's averaging deals. 28, 9, and 9 yeah. right. right now. Yeah. Right now. Right. Yeah. But when he gets, if he comes to L.A., I'm telling you, he's going to go into a different mode. It's not going to be to win in L.A. It's going to be to win in L.A. and start that. No, he I don't has think to he win has a LA. different mode. Yeah. He has to win in L.A. because if you come to L.A. and don't win, mm. it's going to be known mm. as a place where you didn't produce. One in Cleveland, one in Miami, and he comes to L.A. and you he mean like Phil Jackson yeah. didn't produce in New York? But he did in Chicago and L.A. But yep. New York, yeah. we're going to remember he didn't do it there. Well, how bad did he end up in uh, New York, Phil Jackson? Oh, he drove it to the ground. He, he ran it into the mess. Like you always remember what your last, what the last thing you did, right? Kobe is now remembered as the guy who won Oh, the no, I totally disagree. Uh, Namath ends up with the Rams. Johnny Unitas ends up with the Chargers. We don't remember that. Kobe, in the end, was awful, except for the very last game. He was awful. Was we he awful remember. at the end? He oh was putting God. up numbers. He was, hurt a lot. He, was on, he was on awful teams. Yeah, and he was awful. He was on awful teams. Yeah. But he wasn't. Namath went to the Rams? Hey, by the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you bring a quarterback from the 2000s? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Where did Montana end up? Yeah, Montana ended up. That with was the in Chiefs. the nineties. Yeah. He yeah. did a pretty good. He did a pretty good. Did he good? Yeah. yeah. He did Rice with the ra- Raiders. Oh, yeah. Goodness. All right, look, we're going because Steve did all these notes over here. Ah! Uh, here we go. Eric, you got your thirty-second clock. Oh, what are we talking about? Oh, here, here. We're just. What are we talking about? All right, hold forth because your man right here, Steve Lowry. <laughs> Sends an elaborate email about all these topics that he wants to talk about. Yes. Right now, we're just going to get him out of the way. Let's do him. So he's going to have uh, er, thirty or forty-five. He's a writer. We're going to give forty-five seconds. Oh. All right. He's I'm a, already overheating. Red. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about? Here we go. Are we going one or are we going multiple? Times? I'm just going to give you the, the question time. you wrote because you – look. Okay. Seriously, these guys just write emails for everything. Most people that are, you know, modern text. This is uh, what we're going to do here. My Lord. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? He couldn't text me. <laughs> I didn't I have my phone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I didn't have my phone. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to get a text from Uncle Bill? They were my phone sitting next to each other. <laughs> Here we go. Across. 45 seconds, what you get, okay. and Eric's going to okay. shut you down. Tom, right. you want in on this, or you just want to laugh? No, I want to. No, let's go. You okay. want in on this? Yeah, jump, jump in want? if you yeah. want. You want to jump? All right, 45 Sweet. seconds. Should pass. we hold hands? Yes. 45 Thumb seconds. No. Okay. You guys want to have And you, this is called the drill. Yes! The drill. Drill it. I came up with that. It's a drill. <laughs> That's me. You have 45 seconds. Both Good. of you. So you guys right, got to figure go. this out. Right. Go ahead on your rant. This is a big buildup. Ready? Okay. There you go. Here's a question. Yep. Fancy music. Oh, la, my la, Lord. La, 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 la. <laughs> this After is I'm, like every hey, first date I've ever had. Let me give you. Okay, go. Right. As soon as I'm done with the question, I will say go, <laughs> and then that's when the clock starts. Okay. Let's do it. From Steve Lowry's email. Oh, at Gmail, which is pretty cool. <laughs> How Clippers and Angels screwed up the chance at making real inroads with fans. About 10 years ago. Oh, let me finish the oh, question. Damn. Come on. <laughs> you ready to go. You got me all hyped here. Windows have closed on both. And go. Go. 10 years ago or so, both the Dodgers and the Lakers are down, not uh, only in wins and losses. Horrible management. The thinking is, hey, finally, the second bananas in town, Clippers and Angels. Huge possibility for them to get in. The Angels get time, Albert Pujols. The, the Clippers steal Chris Paul from the Lakers. This is it. They're going to change everything. Let Tom talk. No, I want to hear and this. And it <laughs> failed. The Clippers and Angels now have totally been relegated. The Dodgers and, and Lakers are once again the legacy franchises in town. And they're, they're doomed to be second bananas. That's that. Ten seconds. Uh, Hello, Tom. I have no debate for that. <laughs> Thank you. This is what we discussed, and I agreed with him. See? This is, there you go. All right. There you go. All right. Thank that you. was the first one. Hey, Thank good you. Job. Right. It's not necessarily a debate. Just jump no. on in. Say okay. whatever you want, Tom. No, I, I like to hear what he's talking <laughs> about because I understood what he was saying, and I agree. We the, the Angels and Clippers always have a window of opportunity and never take advantage hey, of it. Ever. Right, okay, okay, good. Okay. Drill number two. <laughs> this, I don't even think we need 45 seconds. Oh, right. we go. No, no. 30 or 45 on this one? Uh, we'll go, uh, 45, just to let the – because 45 I, again? I okay. hear how long we're <coughs> this I might hyperventilate. And it's also about golf, so, you know, they need – Oh, uh, 30. 30? 30. 30. 30. Let's do 30. 30. All right, verbatim from the email. <laughs> how ecstatic is the PGA that Mickelson won? I assume that's Phil? Yes. Okay. Is this the most vanilla, so boring bunch of golfers ever? And that's saying something. Oh. And 
Go. Okay. If anyone has watched a golf tournament, well, I hadn't watched a golf tournament forever. Tiger was going to be in one. I'm watching it. He was already out of it. All the names on it, I thought I, I'd tune into like a high school tournament or so. I knew none of these people. And then when the guy won and they talked to him, it was just, it was the most boring vanilla thing. His name was Justin Thomas. Oh, Apparently, he's good. He's very good, right? Yeah. But he makes Jordan Spieth look like Tom Jones, man. That, anyways, Tom Jones. they're Tom awful. Jones. <laughs> they're awful. They like Phil Mickelson. Dum, dum, dum. dum. All right. Does anybody know Tom Jones? In yes, the room. he's singing. I have Tom Jones on vinyl. Wow. wow. It's not That's unusual. That's the Midwest. Eric? That's old hip, bro. Eric, you got All Tom right. Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you agree? Well, right, I, having covered golf recently, I noticed the Tiger bump and what it can do for a tournament. And then I saw it the next week in Florida. And then I saw that what he when he wasn't there, probably nobody cared about the tournament. Everyone's the odds for him winning the Masters now are ridiculously high, just because people know golf because of Tiger Woods. It's it's amazing the staying power that he has, mm -hmm. and want people want him to succeed, and he's not going away. So I think. He brings something to golf that you didn't know until he was gone, and now he's back. Phil is kind of the same way. Phil is vanilla, but he's a, a big big name, and at least he keeps the sport on the yeah. radar. Yeah. All right, last one for Ooh. the drill. <laughs> Galaxy and the LAFC oh. opened their season. LAFC won in you Seattle, won nil, made their debut. A lot of celebrities on ownership. You have Tom Penn, former NBA executive, the president, uh, Will Ferrell. USC alum, like, just like you, Mr. Hofarth. Yes. Uh, from Irvine, just like Eric. There you go. Uh, was uh, in attendance. Galaxy, uh, you went last night, right? Yes. Who, what was the score? 2 1. Who? Galaxy. Galaxy. So yeah. both LA teams <laughs> win their season debut. Congratulations to them. There you go. 45 seconds. Okay. Ready? Draw the boundaries. Who do you root for? And root go. For now? Okay, so here's the deal Are the boundaries about geography? You live in the South Bay, you're going to be for the Galaxy, you're in L.A., you're going to be LAFC. Or are they more generational? My son, 23 years old, he's an LAFC season ticket holder. Okay. I'm a Galaxy guy. I grew up with the Galaxy. I think they did the city proud. So I'm going to stay with the Galaxy. Tommy? I like Chivas. <laughs> <laughs> Regal? <laughs> Chivas. That's a good wheat whiskey. Good whiskey. I, I have a Chivas jersey, and I, it's, it's a collector's item. Chivas I've USA? Apparently, yes, apparently. Wow. With a little bimbo across the front. Fun bimbo. Yeah, you know what bimbo is, right? See, I know bimbo. It's fun. So, it's anyway. Anyway, I watched wow, the LAFC game. I think I feel like I'm invested in the LAFC. I like their, their kit. Is that what we call them? Yes. I, I like their yes, pitch. Kits. Is that what we call yes. it? Yes. Yes. Uh, my son and I are invested now in LAFC, even though we live in Galaxy territory. Johnny, who are you rooting Bandwagon. for? I am a Galaxy fan. Uh, and why? I moved here uh, at not being a, an MLS fan at all. Yeah. Uh, Columbus Crew was the closest yeah. team to me. Very popular like back then. Very popular. Three hours from you? Yeah, about three hours. Two popular. And a half, um, but yeah, my roommates and a, uh, my roommate and a couple of my friends were Galaxy fans. Got me invested. Uh, watched them win a championship, and now yeah. I uh, I will say I'm a Galaxy fan. Yeah. I like the logo of LAFC. I it like their stadium. They've I think done their a stadium great job so marketing. Far looks I like good. the colors. I like Tom Penn a lot. I yeah. like Max Brito's now involved in the yeah. broadcast. Max Brito's gonna be the TV announcer for them on YouTube on YouTube TV, which is interesting. We can get Does into that. Does he keep his gig at ESPN? Yeah. So Mark oh. Max Bertos, yeah. who's right. from LA, who used to be on Prime Ticket out here, yep. went to ESPN. Okay, uh, is now moving to do Sports Center in the morning because Kerry Champion is moving to do Sports Nation. Max will be able to do Sports Center in the morning and do the LAFC. Dave Denholm, longtime radio guy, is the radio play-by-play uh, -play voice for them on ESPN Radio Los Angeles. See. Wow, so they have a pretty good. Uh, yeah, good, they have a good thing. I like what LAFC's done. With their team, the marketing, mm -hmm. they haven't said, hey, we're Galaxy's rival. It's no. more, we're a new team, we're, we're here in our, town, yep. let's get after it. They didn't do that Charger Ram mm -hmm. baloney where, yeah. you know, this is our town. Fake for you to battle yeah, for it was, L.A. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, there's no battle. It's like we can coexist, but just keep an eye on us. Right. right. You're from Orange County. Hey, I think they were talking about star power. You got Will Ferrell, mm -hmm. Omar, Mia Hamm. That's right. Magic. Magic's involved? He's a, Magic's a part owner. Really? So is yeah. Lon Rosen. Wait, every, every, who are you an owner too? Everybody <laughs> can be an investor and an owner in the gal in the LAFC. Like the Packers? Yeah, it's basically if you I, I, there's a threshold. I'm sure I was talking to Tom Penn about this recently, and he says, yes, there's different differentiations on what's who's an owner, but all these guys have invested money into this thing. So, in, it's it's a great interesting story about this Vietnamese American who 
brought McDonald's to Vietnam is now invested in the LA sports, and this is could be like the next, you know, I don't want to uh, what you want to call him, but the, the giant investor of LA sports because right. of this guy's ba- a payroll and, Wait, and he took McDonald's to Vietnam, yeah, made a bunch of money, and now he's investing in LA sports. Yeah. Oh wow! God, we, can we get him in here? Can we get him <laughs> yeah. in a jersey? He's, he's can right. we get an LAFC jersey <laughs> or at least a McDonald's? Yep. Let's talk about the LAFC jersey. You have uh, theories. No, they they love the grit and the fl- the fact that they're downtown LA. Yep. They purposely chose the color black and gold because it, they thought it reflected the grit of LA. Okay. And I think that's another appeal to what they they know their market. They know who they want to appeal to, and the players w- are going to reflect that too. And in fact, Tom Penn said. We want to be like Showtime of, of pro soccer. But the black, is it uh, slightly uh, Raider? Uh, black always looks good in uniforms. It remember yeah. when the Kings went to black? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I remember because I was in junior high, and I'm like, wow, those are cool uniforms. Yeah. yeah. Raider fans everywhere. Uh, every single team, even the Galaxy had black uniforms at one point, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken, or a throwback. It right. looks good. So you look at this, and you're like, all right, this is a good vibe. Yeah. So, all right. So LAFC, we're going to go with them. Good okay. uniform. Congratulations yes. to them. Now. This week coming up, yes, we have, we did the drill, which is let these guys just go, 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 I go on their opinion. I killed the drill. Oh yeah, you did. <gasps> That's you a did. T-shirt. Okay. I killed the drill. <laughs> now, when things coming up this week, yeah. where are you headed? Uh, probably anything? my couch. <laughs> All right, exciting. Tom, yeah. anything exciting for you this yes, week? Yes, I'm going to Las Vegas in a couple Woo-hoo! of days because I'm going to track down Ed O'Bannon, the former UCLA yeah. star basketball player who just came out with a book about how he beat the NCAA in his court case about uh, rights to uh, his image on video games. And uh, that's a big uh, news So story. he's the guy I can blame for not having new NCAA <laughs> football <laughs> games every year, huh? Hey, you know what? I he's not against having those things. He just wants compensation for what they and, – and from what I understand from the book, EA was willing to pay – for the rights to their names and likenesses, the NCAA squashed it, really? feeling that they were not getting a cut of this that they wanted, and that was the big problem. That doesn't surprise me at right. all. Ed O'Bannon, Artesia High, his yep. brother Charles were studs out here, mm-hmm. UCLA champion. And he's now selling cars, right? Yeah. In yep. Las Vegas. In, in Henderson, Nevada, n- nearby. And, and my, my debate when I always go to Las Vegas, I wanted to bring this up too. Do you fly or drive? I always drive. <laughs> my best friend Dom, how you doing, Dom? We always drive out because it's the only time we actually get time to talk. That it feels five like hour swingers, drive, right? You hit Barstow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. But yeah. It's fun driving there, <laughs> yeah. but driving back. Driving back sucks. is always yeah, horrible. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There's no right. need. There's no. You fly. Yeah. Can you take a rental and drive one one way and then fly home? Yeah, you can do that. Leave it Actually, I've oh, done that nice, before. That's a good call. Yeah. I yeah. take a convertible, right? No, no, God, no! You get sunstroke. How, how <laughs> cliche are you gonna get? Yeah. I think a convertible. Convertibles are. Have you ever had one? No. Have you ever had one? They are so overrated. The, after about I assume one you minute, had one. It's, oh yeah, it was awful. <laughs> was it in the eighties with t-tops and everything? <laughs> exactly. No. And you you would try to get your horses harnessed, Christ you know, and it was Baron. really hard. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, I, I did ride in a convertible back and forth to Vegas once, and you're right, the sun. Did not oh, treat hey, me once well. you get to Zizix Road, it's like, yeah. come uh, on, yeah. forget this. Now, yeah. story time here. We talked about the LAFC, the yeah. last segment of the show. LAFC, their new stadium on the grounds of the LA Sports Arena. One uh. of your best memories from the LA Sports Arena. <laughs> uh, uh, shout out to Benoit Benjamin. Uh, my, best, my, <laughs> best, my best memories are covering USC basketball there when I was a young pup. And <laughs> going down to the locker room and having to dodge rats. Rats just everywhere. It was just and it was a yeah. And the people, mess. nobody seemed surprised or even horrified. They're just like, oh yeah, there's another rat. Yeah, I Charming. thought at any moment too, like the <laughs> the uh, like the ghost of Elgin. Isn't Baylor that where uh, you know RFK gave a speech? Yes. JFK. Yeah, and, and JFK was oh, nominated. JFK? Nixon. Yeah, yeah and it's it's got a lot of history, but it was so outdated and he up at the this rats. point. No, it was like a, s- <laughs> it was like a, you know, a Apollo spaceship that just had, had, had lost its purpose. But my forever experiences at the sports arena will be Springsteen concerts, night after night after mm. night in the '80s. Springsteen loved the place. He called "Dump the Jumps." He c- he he loved playing there. When the Staples Center opened, he was the first act to play there, mm. and he hated it. It just felt too corporate. He yeah, he could see the. Uh, the restaurants up there and the and the suites and he didn't had nothing to do with it. So when he did his very last concerts in L.A., they were back at the sports arena and he just tore the place apart. It was uh, literally. P. Yeah. Carroll loved it. I remember being at practice and Carroll said, "All right, uh, let's make this quick. Bruce is on." Because <laughs> <laughs> they had a late afternoon practice. Yeah. Like, 
He's gonna, he, he had a, a, a dinner, I guess, with Bruce Spring, Springsteen before. Yeah. Uh, wow. And we're not even going to get into why uh, Caucasian sports writers love Bruce Springsteen. If you want <laughs> if you want to start a debate in a press box, <laughs> yes. say, wh- who's Bruce? Yeah. Or he sucks. And all yeah. of a sudden, everybody right. turns around. And no, I'm with you. I got no problem with it's Bruce. It's his fans, especially guys. They just get really weird yeah. when they start talking oh, about that guy. This is my entire family, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. I'm, Springsteen seems like a great I'm, yeah, guy. No, it just, it's, yeah. it's a sad religion experience with him now with him, him on Broadway now. And people have to go see this. It's like, no. I'm I kind of ostracized from my family because I'm not like a huge Bruce fan. Right. And they look at me like, yeah, yeah it's not enough you. just to be a fan. Yeah, no, right? Yeah, right. Because you, you they keep yeah. track of how many times they've gone. I don't know every single yeah, right, word to Jungle Land, and, and I've they, never seen him live. Yeah. And so the it's fact that they call him Bruce, yeah. as if he's their good friend. They all just sound like well, crazy stalkers or oh, something Or like that. just the boss. The boss. Yeah, yeah and that's, come on. Eric, Bruce you know Almighty. what we're talking about? Uh, <laughs> 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 and on that note, really? Really? All right. No, I thought. Did you pay attention today? I did. All right, Eric. Good man. All right, rate the show, Eric. <laughs> but I'm starting the credits now. Oh, there oh, we go. Okay. okay. Right. So for Eric from Orange County, John Joe, Nate John Springer. Jingleheimer, <laughs> Jingleheimer, Trestle, yeah. not yeah. Spring Spring. <laughs> yeah. John Trestle from Youngstown. We got a Trestle reference again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got to keep the street going. Steve oh, Lowry, yeah. you have social media? Maybe what? I don't know. <laughs> Promote it. <laughs> What's your Twitter, Steve? It's I I don't know. I'm gonna start doing that soon. He has a phone number. Oh my he has I, a phone number now. Something. It's like a thing. You need a Twitter, Steve. I, no, no, I totally put, need a Twitter. Put, I, I, I wish you'd let me out here so I get Facebook? to the restroom. Oh. Twitter. You have a Facebook thing? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry well, to put you on the spot. Yeah. This is how. Anyways. <laughs> Tom Holforth, he has a couple of Instagrams. No, a couple of Twitters. A couple of Twitters. What is it? L-A-C, L-A-N-G. No, I, I got rid of that oh, one. you got rid of that one? Yeah, well, you know. About I the time th- they got rid of you. What's yeah, your yeah. current yeah. Twitter? Tom Hofarth at Twitter. Oh, oh very it's nice. At, at, <laughs> <laughs> at the Twitter deal. At Tom Hofarth. At Tom right? that, yeah, 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 you understood. And for I'm Durant Sports on Twitter, Instagram, Bethel Vision, Snapchat, Bethel Vision, Facebook, my name, I don't even really use it. Uh, anything else I need to promote for myself? Friday night, ESPN2, do some boxing for Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, and after that, I'm going to go read Tom's articles. Thanks. For Eric, John, Steve, Tom, and the entire program crew, Beth and Rand saying goodnight. We'll see you guys soon. See ya.